Hey guys, um, I have brought you on this hike already, but things have changed so much that I thought I should do another video so you can see a comparison. Check this out. I pointed out these soap plants last time, but now they're flowering. They have like six, seven foot flower stalks and the whole field here is filled with them. Um, they are these night blooming white flowers. They're pollinated by moths. Um, well, there's a bee there, but they're mainly pollinated by moths. And you can see they're all exploding over here. We have, uh, this is the Brodia nana, the dwarf Brodia. It's one of the latest flowering Brodias. And you can see this part in the center here is called the staminode, if I can get it to focus. These little white bits in the center and see how they're spreading and have that midrib. They have the sort of light pink purple petal with the deeper purple midrib. And uh, let's see, what else we got over here? This is, they're all closed up, I don't know if for the season or for the day, but these are wine cup clarkias. Um, there is actually a bunch of yellow star thistle. This is one of our worst invasives, and I'm sad to see it in this area because this is such a beautiful spot for native plants that I have found. And I just want to point this out real quick. In this area we have this is a, called the grinding stone. So Native Americans uh, made these. You know, I don't even know how they made them, honestly. Um, but they make these little depressions and they would mash up their acorns, probably from that big old live oak or maybe those big old black oaks back there and uh, mash them to make a meal so that they could eat the acorns. So yeah, that's a remnant here from before there were white people here. And uh, here you can see this whole area is blooming soap plant. So here, this is this is like my eye level, and then the flower stalk goes another foot over my head. So large and so beautiful. Then if we walk back here to the trail, we have these gorgeous, these are superb mariposa lilies. But this one, and a few of them around here, have this purple coloration. Whereas, you know, normally you're used to seeing them, I guess most of them have purple around here, but they're usually white uh, that I've found. And just look at that ornamentation on the inside of the, the petals there. These are stunning flowers. Calicordus superbus, or superbus. I like calling them superbuses. Superb mariposa lily. Yeah, so every once in a while I see them with that purple coloring. It's really nice. And uh, this is a little guy called Dense Flower Willow Herb. I think that's Epilobium. That grows in wet places, kind of a late bloomer. Look at all these nice brodia. Those are real, real beautiful flowers, huh? And if we walk this way, check it out. There's still seep monkey flower going here because it's kind of wet. And there's this plant right here. I have no idea what it is and I probably won't figure it out. But I could have sworn from looking at these leaves right here that this was an, uh, an iris of some kind. But then when you get up, now that it's sending out little flowers, I don't know, is that a rush? It's probably a rush. The stems are like, like kind of oval. They're round, but not completely round. And uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but there's a whole, like, s section of them here. thought it was an iris. We have the white Brodia, Tredalia uh, hyacinthiana, still going. And there's more of that soap plant. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Got these recurved petals. Just very, very welcoming to a moth. Here, you can look at the view. Not much of a view, but it's something. We're getting close to the evening. I wanted to come out here and try to catch these guys flowering. And oh, look, you can see these ones are just opening up. And eventually they'll recurve their petals. I wonder if you could time lapse that. Maybe that's something I should do. Uh, anyway, if we go a little further, you can see on the other side, there's more of those mariposa lilies. See, this is more like the white coloration that I'm used to seeing. And then next to it, purple. Oh, is there a bug in there? There's some kind of beetles in there doing their thing. 
maybe buckling down for the night. But uh, yeah, I just thought that was really pretty. Especially, I mean, you have this view right here with the, the Barodias, the Mariposa lilies, and then all of those soap plants. And uh, let's see, there might be a few other things over here. Um, I don't know if you saw the last video, but if you didn't, you should check it out. These are the seeds from that mushroom we were seeing. Oh, that's carrot family. They kind of look like carrot seeds with little wings on them, don't they? But uh, yeah, they're dry and falling off. Let's plant a few. There you go. And uh, yeah, this is a whole nice patch here. Now gone to seed. or putting out their, their fruits and manzanita means little apple and they're like kind of look like little apples right so around this bend we got even more soap plant in blue this was running maybe like a month ago even. And so they got enough water. It's all this whole little ephemeral stream bed is lined with them. Soap plant. Uh, the genus is probably Chlorogalum. I probably already wrote it on the bottom there earlier, but I'm just going to run it over in my head for my own purposes. Here's another flower we haven't seen yet. This is the California skullcap. That's in the mint family. That one doesn't have too much of a smell, like most mints. It does have those mint-like flowers, and it does have those opposite leaves. It does have those square stems. So, yeah, California skullcap. And as we go a little further, we got more of the Clarkias and uh, all the... These were Bridges Brodia, but they've now finished up their flowering. And these were like Ucos. You can see those seeds in there? See those black seeds? So they just sit in there and wait for something to knock them over and be planted for next year. And uh, what else? I'm sure we got some interesting stuff over here. We have an uko managing to still keep going. Let's see, that one's the round tooth uko. That's the uh, multiflorum, Dicolostoma multiflorum. It's still happening. And unfortunately, some of the uh, star thistle has made its way over to this side. pulled out a little bit before I saw how much of a daunting task that was and I'd have to be here all night and I'm actually getting completely eaten up by mosquitoes in the evening here it's about uh 7 30 maybe so I'm sorry but I can't do it right now um there's some milkweeds already this is the heartleaf milkweed they are already flowered and done um and I'm was hoping to show you a seed pod but doesn't appear to be any over here. Maybe they didn't get pollinated for whatever reason. And, uh, oh, here's one. So there you go. There's your milkweed seed pods right there. Just forming. Oh, and right next to it. I almost missed it. This is the pink honeysuckle. This is a vining plant, really common around here. So, uh, yeah, pink flowers. Climbs over everything, chokes everything out. Here's a little bit more. It's, um, when they first start to emerge. I actually kind of like the plant. Uh, it's very, very, very common. And then this gorgeous beauty right here, that is your cobweb thistle, the Circium occidentale. And you call it cobweb thistle, because look at that. It looks like there's cobwebs holding those together and a uh, bright red flower going right now. And I cannot wait collect some seeds from this guy because this is one I want in my garden. I mean, most people don't like thistles, but uh, I'm pretty partial partial to them. Uh, anyway, so that's probably everything we're going to get to see today. But, uh, oh, I should do a little tick check. Walking through that tall grass. 
And good thing I did, because look at that. Got a tick. See him in there? So we'll get rid of him. And yeah. Oh, good. Probably should have paused the video for that, but uh, yeah, you wanted to see a tick, right? Anyway. Wow, that's a weird place for a grape. It's not even wet over here. That's the California wild grape. Anyway, have a good night.